Kakalaki guys, I'm the Dark Quiet Cat, and welcome to a new series that we're going to do a career mode. We're going to do something completely different, and you guys are probably not going to watch it, but it's going to be kind of fun to record anyway. We are going to go for Bournemouth, and we are going to use every single kind of financial boost that we possibly can. So I've unlocked the financial takeover from the bonus menu. We've unlocked the 60% plus thing there. We're definitely not having him in a tracksuit, though, because these, these attire just looks so weird. I mean, the suits just look really baggy on the people, and the shirts, I don't know. They could do a little bit better with, like, modelling this. I know it's not a huge part of the game, but I kind of like my guy just to not look like an absolute idiot. Uh, let me just pop this in here. I'm a duck quack. So, yeah, like I was saying, we are going to be just going for a crazy youth team, basically. We'll play on World Class. We will play the games at... Uh, let's play a four minutes to half. Let's just keep it quick. We might simulate some of the games as well, obviously. But we're going to be just yeah building the best possible future team that we can. And then kind of seeing what rating we can get them to. So we should have like a stupid budget. These kind of players hopefully aren't going to be denying us or demanding too much of a wage from us either. So we should be able to pick up some decent players for decent enough prices. And then just build the squad of the future. Like the absolute dream team in three, four years time. So let me get this all loaded up. Let me add a bunch of players onto our shortlist. And then we can just have a little look through them, a little talk through them, and then maybe approach them in this weird new transfer method system that they've got on FIFA 18. Okay, so we have listed a bunch of players down here, as you can see, on our shortlist. And we've covered goalkeepers and we've covered defenders as well. So the likes here, we've got uh, Lafont and we have got Donnarama. And they are two of the best potential goalkeepers in the game. So we're going to approach... Ooh, this player has a release clause active. No, we do not want to just pay 45 million. We're going to approach these clubs, see if we can get lucky with a bid on them, perhaps. We do have a budget as well. We've got to keep that in mind. So we've got a budget of about 100 million. If we do plan on getting a bunch of players in with this, then... Oh, whoops, I did not mean to offer a pound there. Okay, well, that kind of rules out Donnarama. If we do plan on getting a bunch of players in, we've got to make sure that we're not overspending on just one player. So we can't be spending like 50 million on one superstar. It has to be fairly even spread. And we can definitely not be offering just like one pound on someone. Um, I don't know what we can get away with offering on this guy, you know. Let's see if we can get away with like 7 million or something. I'm hoping they don't just like laugh in our face. Because then we're a bit... Nope. Yeah, completely. On the older FIFAs, you can kind of offer whatever you wanted. Um, on this FIFA, it's uh, a little bit tighter because if you do come in a little bit too low or they're very unhappy with your offer, then that's just kind of it. Negotiations over for the time being. Uh, okay, with Tar, I'm guessing we're going to have to come in at like probably a lot more than 15 million, but let's try it. I'm guessing they're just going to storm out again. I'm pretty sure they're going to storm out. Yeah, this isn't going well to start with, I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> Let's try Diop. Okay, he's got a 20 million buyout clause. So if we come in at like 10 million, then perhaps we have a chance. Uh, I've got a big, big feeling that he's just going to like storm off though again if we come in at 10 million. Uh, let's try it, let's try it. Surely not. If you've got a buyout clause of... Okay, okay, okay. That is that is a lot better than I thought it was going to go down. Let's offer 10.5 million. This could be our first player that we actually have a chance of getting here. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally, we don't absolutely mess up one. Um, we do have Nathan Ake, who I'm very happy with in defence as well. So we do need just one centre-back. So Jop will actually do fine. We've then got Trent Alexander-Arnold, and we've also got Sessegnon. So we've got a right-back and a left-back to go for. And these are the two that I really want. As a Liverpool fan, Trent Alexander-Arnold would be amazing. And as a football fan, Sessegnon is just like the future. He's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So uh, he's so young that like 7 million might just sway it. But they might also storm out here. Okay, maybe I went in a little bit too high for... Alexander Arnold. Maybe we could have got away with like a 5 million offer or something. Oh, they've only just acquired him. Okay, cool. So that kind of rules out a few of those players. But if we do pick up a replacement for Cook there and want a replacement for Smith, a right back, then we're starting to make some decent progress on the side at least. I think what we need to do as well is the exact same with our midfield now. So shortlist a bunch of central mids, central defensive mids, cams, left mids, right mids, strikers even maybe, and then go in for them and see if we can get a bit of luck. 
we've got a game against Hoffenheim in a day. So we've still got time to maybe wrap something up if we get stupidly lucky beforehand. So I'm going to do the same here. List a bunch of potential players up on our scouting list. And then we'll come back in and have a load of bits on those. So part two of our mini search for players is kind of ready to go now. So we've got bids accepted for those two. We actually do need to look for another left back actually now I think about it. But jumping straight into the players that we've got listed here. We went for firstly Asensio. Now we're obviously never going to get him. But I thought let's just try completely low balling them at around where their like minimum offer is of 40 million. Because we can kind of afford that at the moment. I've got a feeling he's just going to storm out. 72. Is it possible that we can actually do this? Uh, let's offer like 52. That's kind of as far as I want to go. No, they're like, they're holding firm at 72. There's no, we can't, we can't spend our whole budget on him, but it would have been a crazy deal if we had got a little bit lucky with that one. Uh, moving back up to the central mids, uh, Tillmans isn't going to leave because he's just joined. So let's just leave him there for now. Goretzka, Okay, they're not willing to sell him at the moment. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, because he's got a year left on his contract, so... Uh, Taliso obviously just joined Munich as well. Naby, maybe? That central midfield search just went a lot worse than I was expecting it to. Like, a hell of a lot worse. And he's valued at 20 million, uh, 30 million. So we're coming at, like, 22 million. I mean, if we get him at 22 million, it's an absolute steal. I went way too low. That was always the risk. But if he's valued at 30 million, like 22 million doesn't seem like it's awful. We'll come back in for him. Um, Samson, did he just join? He joined last year, didn't he? What did he join this year? Am I going crazy? I was pretty sure that he joined last year. And the same with Pellegrini. He joined just this year. Well, that went awfully. That, that whole search went absolutely abysmally. Like, we got absolutely nowhere. And now we're going in for Lamar. Okay, let's just let's just play like a big enough offer here. He's valued at thirty-seven and a half million. Let's go in at thirty-eight million. Because like, if you're gonna get angry at this offer, oh, sixty-five million. You're having a joke. Okay, um, we can do like forty-four. We'll do forty-four, and they have to accept it. I believe. Look, we're sticking to our price tag. 53. Okay. I mean, that's like a whole transfer, well, half our transfer budget just done on Lamar. But if we do manage to sign Lamar, then I'd be pretty damn happy with that, actually. Um, the other options that we've got is Della Fay, who's only just gone out to Watford on loan. Okay, so they've obviously updated that. We'll try going in for Rashford. I mean, again, these are big names that we've got on our list here, and I'm not expecting to get anywhere with them. Um, we're going to have to offer like 30 million, aren't we? I wonder if we can get away with like a 25 million pound offer. I've got a feeling they're going to get angry. Oh, okay. That, that's like absolutely fine. We offer 25, is that you're going to have to do better? Offer an extra 2 million on it. Okay. They're going to accept 26 and a half. Rashford is a huge signing for us. I really didn't think we'd had a chance outside of like 50 million maybe. But that's pretty damn insane. Um, we're going to be playing Rashford as a striker most likely. Let's see if we can get Pulisic. And then we'll need a left wing as well. And then our team is looking absolutely mad. Oh no, we could have Lamar. We actually could have Lamar. Um... Am I taking the piss offering 15 million? Please don't say I am. They want a sell on fee of. Remove sell on clause to start with. We're not having a sell on clause in that. And you can have 21 million for him. I feel like we're still paying more than. Oh, they want 28. Um, you can have. Let's go for 23. They've got to accept it. Like, we're coming up every time. So we've got Lamar and we've got Pulisic thinking about deals. This is actually going pretty well suddenly. Our central mid-search was pretty awful, but all of a sudden we're, we're getting offers accepted left, right, and centre. Let's see how much it would take to buy Julian Brandt, though. I've got a feeling this one could be maybe, like, 20 million. 
No, that's going to be way too cheap, isn't it? Let's try it. Let's try our luck with it. Oh, they don't want a lot for him, though, you know. Like, a lot of these players, they really don't want that much money for. It's like they don't know their potential in FIFA. Oh, no, they, they did just straight up want 32 million. Uh, we're not going to give you 32 million. We will offer you 27.5 million, though, and then you'll probably walk away. Oh, they're going to think about it as well. We're going to have more players thinking about it that we can actually afford at this rate, but that's cool because we'll have like our options on who we actually want to buy. And then the last couple I have here were like the Emery Moore and Justin Kleiber. Um, we don't want to pay a release clause of 15 million for him, but we do want to offer like 7 million or something for him and then try and get like a still because we'll use him as like a rotation player to start with if we get him for like 7 mil, obviously. I've got a feeling that that's not going to cut it. They want 10 million. Okay, well, uh, we'll remove the sellout clause and we'll pop it down to 9 2. And then you've got yourself to deal. He'll accept, surely. Ah, 11 million. Okay, let's just up it a tiny bit. Let's, let's like up it to 10 2. Every little penny counts at the moment because we're going for so many different players. Of course, you need time to think about it. Nobody just wants to do business anymore. Everybody needs time and days and months to think about stuff. Um, I'm not even sure if I really want Emre more. You know what, screw it. No, we're not paying. Oh wait, do they... Oh, okay, it's only release clause for him. Let's go in for Dolberg now. We're going for the last role that we're going for as a striker. We still need to look again for a possible left back, seeing as Sessegnon won't join at the moment. Or we could just wait until the winter and then potentially pick him up for like absolutely dirt cheap. Let's offer 12 million for Dolberg and see him run away. Ooh. Okay, okay. Right, let's remove that salon clause and come into 13 and a half million. And you've got yourselves a deal. We've actually secured a deal. Finally, they're not even going to think about it. We have just straight up wrapped him up. Although, um, we do potentially have Rashford coming in as well. Ah, damn. We've got 105 million after everything we've done in a 541k wage budget. So we have a lot of scope to play with, a lot of room to change things around. And, okay, we've got some stuff come in. Oh, wait, we had an offer in for Adam Smith. Right, let's deal with this first. We, we want to squeeze a little bit more out of them for Adam Smith. I mean, we're going to be replacing a left back. We've got Tyrone Mings who can play there as well. So let's come in and... You're going to have to give us 7.5 million if you want it. 5, 7, and 10% of future salon. No, we don't need a salon clause because he's never going to become anything big. Um, how about 6, 5? And he's all yours. 6, 5. You're going to... Come on, Benitez. That's fair enough. 6.5 million. Every little bit of this adds up. Um, what was this about Jordan Naib? If you really want Jordan Ibe, you can pay like 14 million for him. I mean, he's going to be a pretty damn good backup for us. He's got enough potential to fit into this team. I'm sure you're going to walk away when I offer you this. That's fine. Don't come in with your low balling offers then. Don't come in with your awful, awful offers for my players and expect me to be happy. Ooh, okay, okay. We've got Pulisic accepted. Damn. Oh, God, we've got so many accepted. We can start negotiating with the players. Okay. I completely forgot that this is how it worked. Right, let's go in for... What do we offer for Rashford? Why does it not show you how much you offered? I mean, like, Rashford's going to be one hell of a signing if we can convince him to join. So we'll probably go in for Rashford first here and then reevaluate how we're doing for stuff. So he's going to want a release. He's going to be a crucial player. That's like a no-brainer. And he's got to be happy with that. Yeah, that's what he wanted. He's going to want a release clause in his contract is the problem, and we really don't want to be giving him a release clause because, no, disregard release clause, because clubs will come in for him. Okay, he doesn't actually want a release clause. He expects at least 71 grand a week, a million signing bonus, and a million after 15 games. Well, I think you are dreaming now, Rashford. Let's go in with 62k, a signing on bonus of... 750. Because you do need a decent size selling on bonus, I guess. And you can have 
Another 750 after 20 games. No, we're not happy with that. Not even happy at all. Okay, they're willing to... Uh, this is just going for a bit too much. If we just remove that bonus, then we're good. Then we're good to go. 77k, they up it so much. Let's go down to 73k. And your million signing on bonus. You've got huge... Okay, right, let's not piss about anymore. Let's just accept this one. I don't want them walking away because we're trying too hard to negotiate stuff and we just completely mess things up. But signing Rashford was pretty huge. I have no idea what we paid for him, though. Um, where's our transfer budget? I don't want to think we paid too much. Oh, did we pay like 23 million or something for Rashford? Or 30 million or something crazy? Damn, whatever we paid for him, I'm like, I'm pretty happy with that. Still having 70 million left. Okay, so I guess next up, let's get a centre back in. This guy was fairly cheap, if I remember. I think he was like 20 mil, which I guess isn't too cheap, but um, yeah, you can be an important squad role. That's fine with me. You want four years? No, I want to send you on a five year contract. I want to tie you down. Yep, perfect. You're not having a release clause. Okay, so you want me to offer you a wage. Well, you're not having that much then. If it's, if it's down to me, then you can play for 40k a week with a 300k signing on bonus. Please don't walk away. Oh my god. Did I overdo that? Did I offer him too much? I really feel like I offered him way too much there. <laughs> okay. Um. Right, let's go for Alexander-Arnold. Let's get a new right back in here. Okay, maybe we don't have to go in quite so high with the wage offers and the signing on bonus. Maybe I completely overdid it with him there. Uh, you're not having a rotation role. You're having an important role. Yes, look at him. Look how happy he is after we gave him that role. Okay, we're having him on a five-year contract as well. Everyone, oh, fudge off. You're not joining us on a three-year contract. We're going to make you a superstar and then you're just going to want to leave. Four years will do. Um, perfect. We don't want a release clause. And he wants 32k with a signing on bonus of 420k. Um, okay, let's just give you like 30k and a signing on bonus of 350k. And 220k for five clean sheets. Sure, sure. I can't even be bothered to argue with that. Wow, he's actually, actually fighting me on this. Um, you can have, let's just see if like how greedy he actually is. Surely that's acceptable. We barely knocked anything off the offer. And he still had to kick up a fuss. That's not the kind of player we want in our team. He's going to upset things horribly. Right, we're going in for Pulisic now. This whole long ass transfer negotiating thing is an absolute nightmare though. Uh, he wants to be crucial. Okay. Okay. You are going to be starting like every game, so... I see no problem with that. <clears throat> you better be happy with like a five-year contract at least, though. Okay, perfect. And you're not having a release clause. Oh, that's fine. He doesn't want a release clause either. He wants a, a million after that many. Jesus Christ. Let's remove that. And then the rest of it's fine. You can have your huge signing on bonus. You're not having that much. Why is everyone just trying to get so much money out of us? Right, you can have 50k a week. And you're going to have a 690k signing on bonus. You're going to accept it. Ridiculous amount of money these kids these days are wanting. Oh yeah, Justin Cliver. We could play Justin Cliver on the left, actually. And... How much did we offer for Cliver? Uh, do we even really, really, really want Cliver? What was Cliver's potential? I mean, we have got Rashford that we can play there. I'm just trying to work out if he's going to be the best signing because we have got offers in for like Julian Brandt and stuff. He just got up to an 86 potential. Um, uh, let's just try it. Let's just see what happens when we come in for him. He's going to want a four-year contract. Okay, you can have a four-year contract. You know, If he wants a three-year contract and he's stuck on it, then he's leaving. Um, if he wants a release clause, he's leaving as well. And you can have... No, that's not really tight. Let's give him 30k and 
a 200k signing on bonus. That's all you're getting out of me. Yeah. That's a pretty, pretty damn good offer that he got from us there as well. Um, do we want Dolberg as well? That would be a crazy striker, but we have got Rashford. Uh, Rashford could play on the wing, though. And we could play Dolberg up top. Let's go into the negotiations. So, screw it, let's just sign everyone. I think this could be like the last of our money, though. If we do manage to sign him, he's going to be a crucial player. Yeah, look at his face. Look how happy he is with this. We're absolutely nailing all, all these negotiations at the moment. Um, cool, he wants that. Doesn't want a release clause. We don't want a release clause either. And then the wage. He wants 12k a week. Oh my god, I've been massively overpaying these guys. Jesus. I really thought they would be like on superstar contracts at their current clubs. And that I would have to like massively overpay for them. Ah, oh, some of these guys have just got the most crazy contracts going. Oh crap, that's what we were waiting for. We were waiting to sign Lamar. Oh, we offered 53 million for him though. 27 million for Brandt. Uh, the guys that we did get though, how much were we paying? Oh, we want to go back in for Lafont at some point. Um, 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 how much do we pay for the guys that we actually signed? Okay, Dolberg, 12 million. Oh no, that was the... That was the wage. Jeez, I was about to say that was a hell of a lot. 13 million for him. 10 million for him. 23 million. 26 million for Rashford. What a steal. 7 million on uh, Alexander-Arnold and 10 million on Job. And that should leave our finances absolutely decimated. But we still got a little bit in the tank. We do need to go back in for Lafont because we really do need a goalkeeper. And our oh, left back. Okay, let me just see if there's like any left backs that we can actually go for. That I do want to sign Session Yon, but maybe we can just wait until the winter transfer list is up and then go back in for him then. Uh, there's no one absolutely awesome that I want though over him. I mean, Grimaldo looks pretty good. Maybe we can make an offer for Grimaldo. Um, that would be the only other left back I think I'd be interested in myself. Or maybe even Tierney from Celtic. He actually could be a pretty good shout. Let's add both of those to the transfer list and just see how much they're after for him. All right, there's Grimaldo. Um, short list. And the other one was Tierney, wasn't it? <sighs> Sessignon would just be the player that we want, though. Sessignon is the guy... And, oh god, that's not the right player. We do not want a random MLS player. Uh, Sessignon, yeah, Sessignon's going to be like the best left back in the game, in my opinion. When we get him for this squad, anyway. He's so young, so much potential to improve. Let's just see if we can pick up one of these for pretty damn cheap, though. And I'm pretty sure our budgets as well. We don't need a huge 290k wage budget. So we can push that up to like 20 million. And we should still be good. Okay, let's go into the transfer hub and make an offer for a left back here. Um, nope, Sessignon is not one. There's no way they're selling Sessignon, is there? No. Very annoying. But we can come back in in winter for a couple of these players. Um, let's see if they'll sell Grimaldo for... Let's go for like 10 million, maybe? He's a pretty good rating at the moment is the problem. He's not like an absolute scrub right now. So let's go for 12 million. I got a feeling this is not going to be good enough for them. 22 million. You're not having that much from us. That is for sure. You can have 14, 6. 22 million. Okay, what about 17? 17 million. That's a hell of a lot of money to be paying for him. That's like over his market value. Okay, okay, we can live with that. The only reason we're probably not going to go with him is. If we can get Tierney for stupidly cheap. And we didn't actually pick up any more central mids in the end, did we? If I remember correctly, um, you can have 5 million for him. Okay. Yeah, but I thought we might have been going way too low there. Um, we didn't actually pick up a single central mid. That is my only worry. But with the team at the moment, I think it's looking pretty damn insane right now. So Pulisic... Oh, wait. We do want to, like... Not just destroy our team. We actually want to fill up the bench here. Dolberg. Q. Uh, let's get Goslin off there. For Rashford. Job can come on for Fraser. 
Ali Arta can go off for Cliver, and that should pretty much do it. Um, we're going to play Tyron Mings over Daniels as well there. Um, is there anyone else here that we needed? Oh, we probably do need like a spare keeper on the bench instead of Defoe. Okay, and then you can go here. Do we want to play Cliver on the left? Uh, Rashford can play up top, can't he? Left mid striker, right mid. He can play everywhere, Jesus. Um, formations. We kind of want to play a... Maybe like a 4-3-3 attacking formation. Because then we've got Cliver and we have got Pulisic. Both on the wrong sides at the moment. Then up top, we could we could still keep King in the team actually. Um, Rashford, we also want Dolberg though. He cannot play Cam, can he? Oh, we can play Cam. Okay, we could have him at Cam. Then we'd have Cook in the middle alongside. That's where it gets a little bit interesting. That's what we are really missing. Another central mid at the moment. I guess like Art is probably one of the better players to play there. Um, we've got Cook and Sermon at the moment. Wilson's currently benched. We can sell a couple of these players, of course, as well. And we'll take off Cook here for Job. Alexander Arnold comes in for Smith. We've basically like revamped the whole team right now. That's absolutely madness. Okay, so what we want to also do is probably transfer list a bunch of these guys as well. So that we can hopefully bring in just a tiny bit more funds. And I'm just trying to work out where all the options are on this one. Uh, it's not down here. We've probably set up some scouts at some point as well. Where is it you actually sell your own players? I swear it was over here somewhere. Where it would be just like, you can list up everyone that you don't want anymore. Or uh, Have they just completely like moved it or am I just going absolutely crazy? Right, squad. It's got to be here somewhere then, surely. No. Transfers. That's like a transfer search, transfer history, search players, transfer hub. Do we list players in transfer hub? Transfer listed. Go to the squad hub and list players for sale. Okay, the squad hub. Uh, club, squad, squad hub. Jeez, they just made this so complicated this year. Okay, here we go. So Begovic at the moment is starting for us. That's fine. Um, what kind of, where can we see their value? Do we have to click on them? Well, this just makes things absolutely marvellous. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, can, we can pretty much tell, I guess, who is worth something decent. Just add him to transfer list. Aki's going to stay. He's going to have a starting role. I think we've probably already sold Brad Smith. Um, we'll sell Daniels as well because we've got Mings as a backup. How old is he? 29? He is 29. Um, Mahoney's young, so you can stay. I'm young. Stanislas, you're fairly old, so we might as well see what we can get for you. Anyone young can basically stay. We'll get rid of Harry Arta. Heinemann could actually... He could actually come into the team, because he could be a fairly good player, I think, down the line. Heinemann. How much is he actually going for at the moment? Have I spelled that wrong? <laughs> He's a USA player who has a potential of... I don't know, I'm 79. It's not actually insane or anything like that. We will keep Doslin, I guess, because we need him. Cook's got a decent potential. Sermon, Rashford, Worthington. It's the strikers that we need to sell, to be honest with you. Um, Glado. Oh, no, we don't want to pull him from loan. He can stay out on loan. Okay, we really do not want Defoe anymore. He's just eating up a massive amount of um, budget. We'll add Muset to loan list. Gravan is oh, he's on loan. That's fine. Is he on loan as well? A is on loan. We'll keep Callum no, we'll keep King. We will add Wilson to transfer list. Um I feel like we could have added quite a few more players to a loan spell here. But I don't think it really matters because we're just buying everyone that we want anyway. Um that should pretty much do it, you know. That should pretty much set us up to where we want to be. Um, I'm cool with that. Let's actually just jump straight into a game now. I mean, this video is probably going to be stupidly long as it is. We've spent absolutely ages dicking about trying to get these players in. And 
The team's looking super solid, but it has taken an absolute year to get it to this stage. So maybe we'll play this game, follow up on any other transfers that are pending or that we're waiting for at the moment, and then wrap up episode one here and probably just straight away film episode number two because this is kind of going well, I think, at the moment. Okay, okay, Cliver. Well played again. Find Dolberg now making a run. Come on, Dolberg. Find Rashford. Find Rashford. He's got to be on side here. Rashford spacing it away here. Rashford! Oh, it's such a weak shot. It's so poor. Maybe we should have tried to hold that one up and find in the middle the run that was being made by Dolberg there. Ah, the corner was awful as well. That is not how we need to be playing. We could have taken a nice quick 1-0 lead here against Hoffenheim, which would have been absolutely mad. Oh my god, Dolberg, get onto that, please. Oh, that's brilliant. That's so poor. Oh god, they're just running circles around us. Get ahead on it somehow. <sighs> Begovic with a huge, huge save for us there. Oh, and that clearance was so poor. Come on, get to Zuba. No, Zuba's missed it. Oh my god, the crossing was so good from Zuba. And then it's missed like basically an open goal. We 100% should be 1-0 down. We should probably be like 2-0 down, but somehow we're still in this game at the moment. We are going forward as well with Rashford here. Rashford, find Dolberg. Dolberg, oh, that pass was so poor. One last attack before halftime, maybe. It's out to Pulisic. Oh, it's into Rashford, but it's offside. We actually scored dead on the stroke of half time. Is it like a long way offside? Oh, it's not going to show us a replay. Damn, that would have been one hell of a way to go into it. Oh, but at least we know we can get the ball in the back of the net now. Even if the whistle goes as we attack. Um, Aki, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Jesus. You're making me really sweat right now. Another corner for them is never going to be good for us. Just get ahead on it, someone. That's such a good corner in. Bekovic is there. Let's go long. Come on, Rashford. Hold it. Hold it, Rashford. Hold it, Rashford. Mings across to Cliver. Cliver's been so wasteful, but that is one hell of a ball. Oh my god, come on, Pulisic. Oh, come on, Pulisic. Oh, Pulisic! What a ball away! Oh my god, that was crazy. I was saying how bad Cliver had been. The cross ball was insane. The finish by Pulisic was equally as good. Look at that ball, though. God, that was absolutely mental. These young superstars proving that you don't need to be old. You don't need to have years of experience under your belt. You just need to understand football to be good at it. And we take a 1-0 lead here against Hoffenheim. Against all oh, probably what the pundits would have expected. We're just going to be heroes this year. Come on, Dolberg. Come on, Dolberg. Oh, Dolberg with the silky skills. Silky skills. Pull a stitch for a second. Ooh. It's not far off, you know. We so nearly had a second goal there with Pulisic. That would have been mad. Two goals on his debut. Even though like 90% of our team are currently on a debut. It still would have been a mad result for him. Uh oh, oh, this is bad. This is really bad here. This is really, really, really bad. This is so bad. It hurts. Oh, in the 75th minute. Such poor defending by us. We were chasing like an attacker for ages with <coughs> just that one player there. The layoff is so simple for him in the end. And then he just slots it past the keeper. The dream start that could have been. It's, it's not over yet. We could still come back and win this game. But I didn't want to concede. I wanted a clean sheet for our centre-backs as well on the debut. It just wasn't meant to be though. Slow build-up play is going to be the way we go forward from here I think. Oh my god. Dolberg, come on. Dolberg has been awful. Dolberg has been our weak link so far for sure. Dolberg. Across to Rashford. Rashford holds it. He finds Dolberg. Dolberg finds Cook going forward. Oh, of all people, it had to be Cook. Back to Dolberg. Dolberg, Pulisic. Oh, the cross back in was so weak. That was our chance to win it. <coughs> that could have been the whole game there. You know what, though? I'm not disappointed with how the boys played. It's actually a pretty solid game all round there. A 1-0 draw isn't the worst it could have been against this, guys. I mean, it's something to build upon as well. We do have a couple of positions left to replace, but Dolberg in that game was an absolute nightmare. He just was just not good, basically. They accepted Lamar for 53 million. Oof. Oof. Is there any way we can afford Lamar for 53 million? Um, if we like completely get rid of a budget, no, <laughs> no one near still. Uh, we could buy Glamaldo, but I don't know if I want to right now. Not for like 21 million. I mean, we could just keep Tyron Mings for a little bit. Um, oh wait, Glamaldo offer unacceptable. 
Okay, they want 21 million for him. No, that's not happening anyway. I thought they had been accepted before for 21 million, but we must have offered a little bit less than that. No, we're not coming in at 21 million for him. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Lamar. We've completely run out of funds. Your transfer is just not happening anymore. Um, we also can't afford Brandt at 31 million. That's just too much money for us as well. Okay, so I kind of feel like that's a pretty good place to wrap things up. Um, oh, Adam Smith's been sold. That just give us a little bit more funds. You know what? This preseason nonsense. I mean, we drew with Hoffenheim. We've got Bremen second. Maybe we just like simulate this game. Maybe we simulate the rest of preseason here. And that just speeds things up a little bit and gets us towards the season. Probably shouldn't have done this because I actually kind of wanted the money from winning the preseason. And it was a good chance to get used to the boys and get used to the team. But uh, it's going to be risky. We're at half time and it's still nil-nil. Cliver comes off. Cruz scores. Wilson comes on for Cliver. Oh, Stanislas comes on for Cook and equalizes. A one-all draw here doesn't really do enough to get us out of the groups, you know, though. That's not an ideal result because we're still kind of stuck in the group. Uh, we're second. Girona have six points. There's no way we can simulate against Girona then. If we simulate against Girona and we don't win, then we don't progress. And we definitely want to progress here. So let's just get rid of whoever's wanting to say something to us about position and playtime. Nope, you're not getting a chance, buddy. Have you just seen our signings that we just made? How could you ever expect to get a chance in this team? Um, what I do want to do just before we end this video, though, is just come back and see if we can re-go in for Lafont or Donorama after that accidental £1 bid. Have they just disappeared from this list? Oh, no, they're back. They're back. Okay, approach to buy Donorama. We'll offer, like, 20-odd million. I can't imagine them accepting it. Okay, let's offer 24 million. Because that's how much he's valued at. So you can't be mad at me for this. How about 42? You're having a joke. They said 42, didn't they? Is 32 like my highest? Um, we can't even afford that because then we have no wage budget to play around with. We'll go to 28. If not, we're just going for Lafont. Uh, no, we can't afford Donorama. Donorama's just going in for too much at the moment. We'll go in for Lafont instead, which is absolutely fine. So, like, Lafont is a solid goalkeeper. Um, and hopefully we can get him for, like, a fraction of that. I'm hoping, like, 20 million or something. I can't remember what we offered last time, but it really offended them. Um, let's offer 17 million. That can't offend you. Please don't say that offends you. We overpaid massively for Lafont, didn't we? That's fine. I can live with that. Um, I wonder if any of these guys are like... Sometimes, even though they have just joined... Oh, God, we don't actually want Tar. They wanted too much for Tar. Or did they reject us speaking about Tar last time? Uh, let's just offer like 20 million see what happens here with Tar. I got a feeling he's going to storm out. Yeah. That might have been what happened last time. I just wanted to see if any of these guys that we went in for before, they're like a bit more willing to sell now. Uh, he's on loan. Pellegrini's just joined... Sanson hasn't just joined, so that's a lie. Um, we had an offer for Navi, or did they want too much for him or something? Talisa's just joined, Gladska's just joined, Talman's just joined, and Asensio had no chance. Okay, cool, that's fine. Right, so let's wrap up episode one there, but look at that team. Clive at Rashford, Pulisic, Dolberg. We've still got Sermon, Cook, and Mings, and Aki, and Begovic, and then Jop and Alexander-Arnold. So... After like a season, I'm hoping this team is going to be absolutely mental, but it's going to take at least a season to get them there. If you guys are enjoying the series, then make sure you do drop a like, comment, subscribe, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you guys want to do. Just supporting me is insane. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.